Okay, cool. So I was asked to talk about uh, rhythm. Um, so this is my design methodology that uh, the, the story for this really is because uh, when I had to present my diploma and had to explain uh, how I was doing my designs, what I realized is even though I was using, for example, SADIM or SEEP or OBRADIM or any of those tools, uh, the way in which I actually did it didn't really follow clearly the the the, the SADIM pattern. Uh, insofar as there's something I was doing that that was much more iterative, which uh, was difficult to to map out directly into something like SADIM. And so I had to to kind of tweak and explain my design in a way that I wasn't actually really doing it. So just to kind of get it uh, get it on paper, which to be honest, as you know, I'm really not good at putting things on paper anyway. So, so I then started to break down what was I actually really doing in my designs. I think in the first uh, two years after learning permaculture, I'd made 60 designs and, um, you know, of all kinds of different things. And so I started to analyze what I was actually doing. And this is a much clearer, better representative uh, format. So I kind of developed this, this tool to kind of visually represent the kind of process that I was doing. So in other words, this is a, a, a framework that sits on top of over SADIM rather than replacing SADIM. So it's just a framework. Um, yeah, so as it says, so it's based on how I was designed, you know, and it's a real iterative process. You know, it's not a kind of linear or even a kind of spiral as, as many people describe it. Um, it's really iterative. Um and yeah, it's kind of really based on on the kind of original design web, i.e. not the, the Luby McNamara's people care uh, design web, but the, the what we used to call a design web before she um, kind of yeah, used that term for, for her uh, talk. So it's the original kind of design web, um, which hers is also based on, uh, but it's it, to be used beyond just the people care. Um, so yeah, so it's really movable, flexible, really iterative, and um, and it's you know it's it's literally it's because as you see when we start it we start from the outside and we kind of work inwards. So it's kind of like the reverse of a ripple. Instead of starting at the middle and working out, it's kind of the other way around. And mainly because I wanted to use the word rhythm, so that's why it's called rhythm. So, um, so the idea is really, we start making our, uh, you know, the, the first place we start with SADIM is to survey. So we start gathering information. And what I do in this case is I, I have either a really huge piece of paper or a wall or a, a floor or something. And I kind of divide the place up into kind of concentric circles or squares. Um, but it can also be done just in in a linear way, I'll explain that at the moment, at the back, at the end. Uh, but doing it in a circle or a square is really useful because what I can do is I can uh, start doing whatever research I need to do and put it in on the outside. So these are all the different tools, you know, whether it's, um, you know, making maps, whether it's uh, collecting information about wind statistics, whether it's, you know, so whatever it is. All the survey information basically goes on the outside. Now, uh, if we were to kind of try and follow SADIM uh, to it, and it's you know um, in the way in which it's it's often presented, then we'd first of all do all of the survey, all of the survey, and then start to do the analysis afterwards. Whereas that's just not realistic. Chances are. We're going to survey, and as soon as we've surveyed something, we oh, that means we ah, oh, that means, and so you start analyzing straight away. So with this tool, it gives you that flexibility to say, you know what, all right, go go ahead. You know, if it makes sense to you to analyze it right now, analyze it. And what we do is we put the result of the analysis in the next circle. 
And so off we go, <clears throat> maybe do some more survey, maybe we analyze some of them, maybe some we don't analyze, maybe we go and gather more information and, you know, analyze some of those because it's logical to do it at the time. And then maybe later on, yeah, we can look back and say, oh, I haven't analyzed that yet. Maybe now is a good time to look at that. And quite often what we find is when we start analyzing, that leads us to think, ah, this is possible. That's not possible. Therefore, I need to think of something else. So all of us, or I need some more information to really go and really analyze this properly. So you go back to the survey and you, you know, so you kind of, you know, say, oh, I need to, uh, you know, have some other survey done. So you go back, you do some survey, you analyze that and, you know, and you carry on in this way. And um, once you've got enough information, enough things that you've kind of analyzed, you then take just that data. So the advantage of wrap, mapping it out this way is you don't need to be out, you don't need to have to look at all the survey again. You just look at the results of the analysis. And so all of that is in one place. Then you can start to map out how they all interact with each other and you test a possible design. You say, right, all of these things, uh, if I was to take these, what could I do with that? How, how do they all interrelate with each other? So let's test a quick design. So here's an idea, here's a possibility. And maybe you start going and do that with other areas as well and so on and so forth. But then how do I now interconnect those? What's the relationship between these other things that I've just kind of analysed? How do I start connecting those together? Does it make sense to connect, to connect or maybe it just doesn't? And again, from that design and from having those ideas, maybe you realised, oh, there's some more information. Here's something I didn't even think of was possible, but now all of a sudden new ideas come up. So go off and do some more survey and so on and so forth. And you survey, analyse, survey, analyse, survey, analyse. You know, and sometimes it could, um, you know, the, the new survey could lead you to think about, yeah, bringing that back into the, the, the design you previously had, the test design. But maybe you say, actually, you know what, this is something really completely different and separate. Uh, I need to completely change the design. You know, I've got a far better way of doing it than I previously thought. So, um yeah, so the idea is you just keep going through this process, survey, analyze, survey, analyze, survey, analyze, test the design. Um, and as I say, you, you can, at different points, you can collect as much information, but you can analyze it almost immediately and so on and so forth. And it's just about putting it in the right place. And um, yeah, just about putting it really in the right place so that you can see how they all interact with each other. And then once you've got a design, how does that design all hang together? How does that all affect and complement each other and you know and then you do some more survey more analysis test another design and so on and so forth until eventually you get to the point where you know what this is my final design and that's it really um as i said it doesn't have to be done in a circle the advantage of doing it in a circle is that uh, you can have all of the information around and then you can start making a web type connections uh so you can see how they relate to each other but you know if it's easier just to do it in kind of um yeah squares uh, in this way you know so first section survey analyze design and final design if that's better for you then you know do it that way um this was just an example of me doing it for myself where i i was doing like a, a holistic life design looking at uh, the different things I wanted, you know, from, um, uh, yeah, um, you know, I wanted to move more and more physical exercise. Uh, I wanted to learn about plants. I'm trying to read some of what you're saying there. Uh, I wanted to be more creative. Um, so we can find this on your YouTube account, on your YouTube channel, right? I will upload this at some point. Yeah, probably. You mean this talk now? The one that you're showing us on the on your screen. Uh, no, I think that was a private. That was a private uh, workshop. But this particular one. Oh, okay. Right but basically, I took all the different elements of things and kind of ran it through this kind of process. 
and ultimately um you know the fact that i wanted to so out of memory i wanted to cycle more i wanted to meet more local people i wanted to get fit and healthy and as i say cycling was one of the ways to do that i wanted to get to know and explore the area that i was living in i wanted to learn more about plants i wanted to learn how to draw and so on and so forth so as a result of this particular design what i ended up doing is clustering some things together and uh, organizing well if i were to organize um once a month uh, a bike ride out into a forest into one of the local nature reserves and while we're there we um you know or maybe the month before we say right next month we're going to study a particular plant family so we study and so while we're at the nature reserve we go and look for those plants you know from that family and then we go and draw them and so on and so forth and uh so basically i get to travel around i get to meet you know find new places in my locality uh nature reserves and things i get to meet people i get to cycle i get to be fit i get to draw and i get to uh, learn something about plants so um yeah so ultimately that was the the design i came up with using this methodology and um <clears throat> i say there's lots of ways we can do it this kind of prama for those who are familiar with prama uh it's you know it's also quite easy and possible to do a map around there you know you can do it in a kind of spreadsheet even you could do it using something like um i think this was uh miro and someone doing it in a very logical way uh, while some people are insanely creative and clever. I think this was Zoe who, who made it in this particular way. But it's the same kind of pattern, you know, um, yeah, same principle. So it's, yeah, it's totally up to you how you might want to to deliver something like that. But that's it. That's the talk on, uh, on rhythm. Does that make sense? Any questions? Rakesh, you're amazing. And um, this is already so helpful. And I'm, I'm, you know, the permaculture game I've been designing that we tried last summer. So I continued with it and I made it even better. And I truly think was this was like the last piece that was missing, this kind of circular design tool. I knew there was some reason I really needed to know what what I missed out on, whether you did. Cool. Okay, I don't know. Have you did you study Sadim, um, Lisa Marie? I did, and I totally get that it's quite. Um, I found myself um, sort of interlinking all those as well because you know the survey does have analysts in it. It does, you know, how can you not? You've got to sort of kind of, you know, think out the box. What if, <laughs> you know? So it kind of did. It, it is blending. And it's nice to know that you can kind of do that, you know, I mean, the principles kind of just, you know, does tell you that you can have that adaptability. So I'm allowing myself to do that as well, to find what works with the patterns, but it's definitely patterns that I'm kind of finding myself being drawn to when it comes to the design as well. Um, and linking all those little pockets in to be able to then each page have that design of whatever part you're doing, because you've used all of the, those core survey analysts and uh, you know, you've lived it all and, and you've intertwined it to be able to to come up with a design, you know, mm -hmm. which could also change later on. I like it because it's just fluid. <laughs> exactly. And so what this allows you to do over and above high and uh, what this allows you to do over and above the kind of conventional model is it really gives you that a way to map out actually doing exactly that you know a bit of survey analyze it straight away a uh, bit of survey bit of analysis survey 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 let's come and analyze that later so it allows you the framework it's a framework that allows you to to be able to visibly see what have i done what have i not done what have i missed and then start interconnecting everything and really starting to see those relationships okay so if it's okay i'll stop the recording <laughs> we had a nice little dance there um how do you stop recording there we go stop recording